What's up people? In this video we are going to watch this, My Diet, Recommended Foods, and Some Tips by Clarence Zero. Mm, I've seen this guy around. He's posted on 4chan occasionally. He's like, I think, what's his thing? He, like, he says to like squat every day or something. Um, and he's a vegan and he's like super strong and he's, he's pretty jacked from the pictures okay, that I've seen. Yeah, it's an old video. Uh, the videos that I've seen of him that are more recent, he's, I, I'm assuming, or not videos, the pictures that I've seen, he's, a, he's more jacked than this. And I, I'm I th like, he, you know, is this like necessarily like a steroid body? It's, it's like, it's pushing it a little bit. Um, but the other ones that I've seen, like homie definitely looks like he's on something for sure. Again, not like, okay, uh, let me just preface this video by saying this, like just because you take steroids, that doesn't automatically rule out any advice that you have to give on fitness, okay? In my opinion, I think you can still, um, people should still listen to you or it, it doesn't automatically rule you out is what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just watch this. If you guys have any other recommendations for videos or YouTubers, let me know. Leave me a comment. On my Q&A video, everyone was asking mostly diet-related questions. Hmm. And everyone wants me to make a video on examples of what I eat throughout the day. And I assume these people want some tips on how to add more plant-based foods to their diet as well. Um, so in this video, I'll go over some examples of what type of meals I have throughout the day, and I'll go over what you need to look out for if you want to try out this type of diet. A website I highly recommend is Chronometer. Uh, websites like MyFitnessPal are great, but the only website I've come across that allows you to track like nutrients is Chronometer. Um, so anyway, I'll give you an example of a meal I ate recently. Um, so this is five wheat biscuits, um, soy milk, uh, one apple, and one tablespoon of flaxseed and some sesame seeds. Um, this contains about 22 grams of protein. Um, you can actually see the amino acid breakdown as well on the chronometer. Um, by the way, on the website, you actually have to adjust um, some of the protein minimums if you're an athlete. I set mine to 130 grams as a minimum, um, but I usually get more than that, probably around uh, 170 grams per day. Um, a big misconception. God, this guy's a monster, huh? This is so hard to do. Any of you who are like thinking of like, what is this exercise he's doing? It's called a snatch. Um, I'm gonna move my overlay so you guys can watch him do this. Uh, yeah, so like this this lift that he's doing, this is one of what's called the Olympic lifts, right? Like why like Olympic lifts are lifts they do obviously in the Olympics. Um, this one, as, as far as I know, this is the hardest one. Um, and that looks like, I, I don't know, are these, are these the like, it can't be 100 pounds. I think these are 45 pounds, maybe more, like 50 pounds or something. But let's say let's say 50 pounds or 45 pounds. Uh, what is that? 90, 135 plus 135, 270 plus um, 45 is 315 pounds. Fuck, snatching 350 pounds. That is like, that's a lot for reps. Wow, I may. I wish I could do that. Oh my god. Like, I kind of want to like go to an Olympic lifting gym to learn how to do that. Um, the Olympic lifts are very good because you work your entire body and like all the dudes like look like this. <laughs> like fuck man, like this is like, I don't wanna say ideal body type for a man, but, but kind of ideal body type for a man in terms of like uh, pure strength um, and also some athleticism. I would say honestly, like not that anybody asked, um, my, if, I, if you told me I could train like any way I wanted, I would go train at an adult gymnastics gym. That's what I would do. That'd be my training of choice. They're very expensive, unfortunately. Like to go to have like unlimited classes, you need to, you're like looking at like 300 bucks a month. Um, but flexibility, strength, coordination, you can do fucking backflips and shit. Like you probably won't be this big, but you'll be. Well, he's probably pretty flexible. Um, but it just seems more fun. Plus, you get to like hang out with a bunch of girls who do gymnastics, who are generally pretty hot. Um, okay, so yeah, that's that. Uh, the first meal, like wheat bix and bananas. I mean, so again, like, like I said in the beginning of the video, just because you take steroids doesn't automatically rule out any of your advice. I don't know if he addresses that, if he's on anything. I don't, I, I don't think it's possible to build a body like this. He looks pretty tall. I'm going to say like six foot one, six foot two. Is it possible to build a body like this on fucking wheat bix and bananas? I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. But 
I don't know. I think, honestly, like, questions like this... Oh, my God, this video is going to take forever. Uh, I think questions like this, like, oh, what do you eat? It's like they're asking the wrong question. What they should ask is, like, dog, how do I do a snatch? That's what they should ask. Like, show me how to do a snatch and how to get up to this weight. It's going to be way more useful for people. Exception is that plant-based foods don't contain all essential amino acids. Um, that's not entirely true because even the apple in this meal contains all essential amino acids. Um, you just have to keep in mind that plant foods have varying ratios of amino acids. So, for example, legumes are high in lysine but low in methionine, while grains are low in lysine and high in methionine. Um, so it's important to eat both types of foods. So looking at the rest of the nutrient breakdown, um, this meal is high in carbs and fiber, which is no surprise really. Um, usually a tablespoon of milled flax seeds um, gives you enough omega trees, um, but I also like to take a DHA supplement just to make sure um, I get enough DHA in case I'm not converting enough failure. Like some doctors recommend you take a DHA supplement if you're following a vegan diet, and some don't. Um, but I just take it just to make sure I'm getting enough. Um, I just take um, 300 milligrams every three days. So the seeds and soy milk in this meal contain quite a bit of fat, and that's another thing that's important when you're trying to add in more plant-based foods. Um, a lot of people they tend to focus on their protein intake, but getting enough fat is also important um, because it's very easy to get cravings for higher fat foods, and fat is important for hormone production as well. Um, a few people that have actually been asking me how do I get enough calories in, and that's one of the ways I do it. I just added more uh, higher fat foods. Um, like you have to remember that fat as a macro has more. So one other thing that I like about this is that he seems to be doing um, very low reps, okay? And I, like, if I, like, let's say that I, all I have access to is, like, a normal gym, um, I also prefer to do the bulk of my training with low rep sets, right? Like, he's doing, you saw he's, now he's doing deadlifts, right? And he's only doing one or two reps, but at a very high weight. Um, and I think that this just overall, like from a long-term perspective, I think this is just better than doing bodybuilding. Um, I, I will also do some bodybuilding because, okay, if, if you're strong, you can deadlift a lot, great. But you also, you want to look good, right? You want to have certain muscles to be big so you look good. That, that's like, that's why we work out, right? Um, so I think it's important to do both. But like I said, I will do the bulk of my training, you know, low rep well, okay, what I do, not that anybody asks, but like I'll, I'll do like three days a week if I'm, well, sometimes more, it depends where I am, whatever. Three main days a week, right? Squats or uh, what is it? Squats and dips, rows and deadlifts, or maybe sometimes pull-ups and deadlifts um, and rows and squats, right? Basically those six exercises split into three days, normally with one day of rest or a light workout in between. Um, because when you're doing high reps like this, it's it's not easy to go and do it every day, right? M maybe if you're like on something, you can do you can train more. I, I don't think so. I think you still um, like your your nervous system needs like time to recover. It's it's much harder. Like bodybuilding, you can do every day, right? Maybe even twice a day because it's it's not as hard on your body as um, lifting as much weight as possible. It's kind of counterintuitive. You would think that more reps, you would need more recovery. But it's actually the opposite. Um, so I like this. This is very good. I've never seen any of this guy's videos before. Most calories. So if you want to increase your pork intake on a vegan diet, that's the best way to do it. So on the screen there is the micronutrient breakdown. Um, this meal is fortified with uh, vitamins like vitamin B12. And especially in today's world, it's very difficult to get vitamin B12 without um, supplements or eating fortified foods. Like um, even some livestock are injected uh, with vitamin B12. So beef is essentially fortified with B12. Uh, but yeah, getting enough... Uh, B12 is important because you can develop serious health problems if you're deficient. So if you want to switch over to a vegan diet, just make sure you get enough B12. And um, the soy milk in this meal is also fortified with uh, vitamins and minerals. Uh, this makes getting vitamin D and calcium easier, and the absorption of calcium from soy milk is actually pretty good, uh, which contains a lot of iron as well. Um, if you're going to go entirely plant-based, I recommend cereal and soy milk because they contain a lot of fortified vitamins and minerals. Okay, so this is an example of a meal that's very high protein. Um, I didn't enter in the ingredients. Fuck, man. I'm just going to move my overlay again. Sorry. So you can look at all this shit. So this meal is a chronometer, but um, I did calculate uh, the calories and macros. So this is what the meal contains. Um, it contains 50 grams of dried soy mints. Uh, sometimes I use tofu, but um, I think this ends up being slightly cheaper. Um, if you're living in Ireland or the UK, you can buy 375 grams of this for €2.40. Euro and, 40 cents. Um, and I'm pretty sure it'll be around the same price in most countries. Uh, sometimes I use dried lentils as well, um, which contains around the same amount of protein. Uh, pasta is also cheap. Uh, the price of candy beans where I live is a joke, and I'm pretty sure it's the same everywhere. Uh, the price per can is like 20 cents um, in the majority of supermarkets. Uh, the rest of foods and herbs and spices don't really add in a lot of protein, but it does end up adding uh, 15 grams, including a serving of uh, the thing with this meal is that it's pretty high in calories and it's actually very high in volume as well. Um, you have to remember when you should diet like this, um, the volume of food is going to be a lot higher unless you eat um, a lot of high fat foods. Um, that's definitely an advantage if you want to lose weight, um, but like I said earlier, if you want to gain weight and you don't want to eat a high volume of food. So like they say that you should squat below parallel. I, I used to do that too until one day, like this is when I was in New York, I, I squatted below parallel once. And I felt like, oh my God, my fucking like something like popped out of my lower back or something. I was like, oh my God. Like I was actually scared that like I wouldn't be able to stand up. 
I stood up and re-racked the weight and like <laughs> lie down on the floor for like 20 minutes. I honestly thought that I would have like permanent damage. Um, I don't know what I did. I should probably see a chiropractor. But like anyway, when I watched him do that, fuck man, that is like, that you have to like work up to that. Like I don't, I don't know how he does that. I, I probably should have like done a little more research before I started squatting below parallel. Um, but even now, like when I feel my lower back, like I have a little like, it's like a little bulge on one side. I don't know if I like slipped a disc or something. I should probably see a chiropractor. Um, anyway, yeah, this whole vegan thing is like, you gotta eat all these different foods. Like, it's just so inconvenient. You know, like, I, I've said this so many times, but um, yeah, whatever. Food, just add in more high fat foods. So the amount of protein adds up to around 80 grams. Um, most of this actually comes from the soy mints and the guinea beans, um, but a lot of it comes from the pasta as well. Um, people forget that grains are a very good source of protein, um, especially oats and wheat. Um, brown rice also contains quite a bit of protein, uh, more so than white rice, but um, in my opinion, white rice tastes better, so I do eat that most of the time. Um, so I definitely recommend adding in beans to your diet because it's not only a good source of protein and iron, but um, it's so damn cheap. Like um, 19 grams of protein costs 20 cents if you're buying beans. Um, yeah, so the fattened meal is below um, at a total of less than 10 grams, which explains why the size of the meal is so large. So the next example meal is two baps uh, with two bean burgers and peanut butter, onions, lettuce, and cucumber. Um, so this meal contains about 48 grams of protein. Um, once again, there's basically nothing expensive here. Uh, the price of bean burgers is pretty cheap where I live. Um, sometimes I just substitute them with uh, vegetable burgers because I usually get enough protein anyway. Um, and sometimes if I'm lazy, I just throw two bean burgers in the oven and microwave frozen vegetables and have a serving of white or brown rice. So um, I don't really know what to call this. But in my opinion, it tastes pretty close to an omelet. So this is just um, brown flour mixed with water, onions, peppers, herbs, and spices. Um, brown flour is basically flour made from chickpeas. Um, it actually contains quite a lot of protein as well. Um, it contains 22 grams of protein per 100 grams. Um, I found this in an Asian store um, for quite cheap rice. You can also find other foods in Asian stores that you won't find in other supermarkets. Um, usually, I'd see this with a brown and white rice and some vegetables. So um, this is a smoothie that I usually have. Um, it contains frozen fruit, so blackberries, raspberries, red currants, and black currants. Um, it also contains soy milk, sunflower seeds, uh, flax seeds, and kale. Um, I usually add in sunflower seeds because I sometimes don't get enough vitamin um, D into my diet. Um, it's also high in protein and calories. Um, Another way of adding in uh, more calories to a smoothie is add peanut butter um, because it's very high in fat. So as well as showing you um, some meals I eat, I'll show you some foods I recommend. Uh, the first type of food I recommend are legumes. Um, so kidney beans, butcher beans, uh, chickpeas, peas, lentils, big beans, soybeans, and there's many more. Um, legumes are usually very high in protein, um, especially they're high in the amino acid uh, lysine, which is something many vegans miss out on. Um, they're also high in iron and fiber. So the second type of food I recommend are grains. So for example, oats, brown rice, or wheat. Um, many people are actually surprised when I tell them there is 16 grams of protein in 100 grams of oats and 12 grams of protein in 100 grams of pasta. Um, grains are pretty high in calories as well um, compared to legumes. So if you're looking to gain weight, it's definitely a good idea to add in uh, more grains to your diet. So um, a lot of the calcium I get in my diet comes from soy milk. Um, but um, I do like to get it from a direct source. Um, it's funny because people assume only food. Man, this guy's a fucking monster. Holy shit. Man, th this is like... So I've never seen any of his other videos. I don't know like what he talks about. If m most of his other videos are like about working out. If so, go watch those videos. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, well, okay, so I, I will say about like his... The food that he eats. Um, fuck, I have the hiccups. Um at least it's natural, right? I haven't seen, like, did he eat any processed food? I don't think so. I I'm not sure what those burgers were, if he, like, made those himself or something. Like, crushed up bean and, like, grilled it. I, I don't really know. It uh, doesn't really matter. Um, at least it's natural food. i um, gonna say, I I'm just wondering, like, is it possible to get this jacked from that food and put up this much weight naturally? I I'm gonna say no. Um, but so what, right? Like, I, again, this this is why I don't, like, he, he's not he's not saying this food is, like, the secret to my success by my book. You know what I mean? I, I don't think so. He's just saying, like, this is what I eat, you know? So, like, is, is this, if he's taking steroids, is this, like, ethically wrong? No, I don't think so. And, in fact, what you know what I would really, what I would like to see, and I guess you can't do this on YouTube because you would, like, they'd, like, cancel your channel or something. You're not allowed to, like, admit. You can't be like, yeah, this week, you know, I pinned fucking 500 grams test, and I noticed this, this, and this. Like, you, you're not allowed to do that, right? Or, or would you just get demonetized? I'm not sure. Um, but, like, are there channels like that where, where people actually, like, admit steroid use and talk about it and talk about the effects? It must be out there, I'm sure. Um, but I, I guess the more mainstream you are, I don't know if this guy's mainstream, seems pretty like, like home gym, fucking like low rep Olympic lifts. It's not very mainstream. Um, I, I guess you can't really do that. I'm not really sure. But like training advice from this guy, yes. And again, like I said, I forget which video it was, but I, I did say that it is possible that a vegan diet somehow is better if you're taking steroids, right? Because you do have a lot of vegan athletes that seem to be on steroids and they look good they perform well um 
so you know that that's possible I, I don't think that's explicitly been studied um but yeah i mean like you know i don't know like good for him i guess that contains calcium is cow's milk but um, that isn't true um, kale and broccoli um, and some other uh, green vegetables all contain calcium um, and they also have antioxidants and other vitamins um, out of all the replacement milk products you can buy um, soy milk is probably the best because it contains the most protein and where i live at least it's the cheapest um, almond milk is great but it's low in protein and it uses more resources to make than soy milk um, i know many of you are probably worried about a diet high in soy but there's nothing really to worry about um, i think there's only been two case studies of gynecomastia from um, eating um, soy and that's when people that were taking massive amounts of soy i think it was like 12 servings per day um, but if your diet is high in soy um, you need to make sure you're getting enough iodine um, um, I personally obtain it from iodized salt, but um, you can also get it from seaweed. Um, but if you're still worried about a diet high in soy, um, I'm going to provide links in the description for more information. Um, of course, another food I recommend is tofu. Um, you can find this for a pretty cheap price if you buy it from the right place. Uh, one time I actually bought uh, 9 kilograms of tofu for 30 euros. Um, the best place to find it is um, Asian Foods. Uh, are any of you like listening to what he's saying? Or are you just watching him train? I'm just watching him train. I'm not even like at this point like, <clears throat> who honestly, who cares what you eat, dog? Like, tell me how you live so much. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I understand that's not this video, but like, I'm just curious, like, are you guys actually like, do you care about what he eats? Like, are you listening to what he eats? Or are you, are you just like watching him lift this like massive amount of weight and want to like know more about that? I, I don't, maybe it's just me. Stores, um, but you can also find supermarkets, but they generally sell it for a more expensive price. Um, a lot of people say to me as well that they just don't like the taste of tofu, um, but I think they just don't know how to prepare or cook it. Uh, freezing it um, definitely improves the texture and it really depends on what flavorings you use. But um, if you want to diet low in carbs, um, this is definitely food you should add in. Um, sometimes tofu is also fortified with calcium, which is an edible. Uh, for me personally, I don't use protein powder, but if your goal is to lower carb and calorie intake, it's definitely a good idea to add it in. Um, it's also quite convenient if you just don't like eating uh, beans and lentils all day. Um, I don't take any supplements for performance increases like creatine, citrine, matate, or beta Um While there is research to back them up, um, they just don't increase performance as much as people exaggerate them to. Um, if they did, they would be banned by water, and that's really a simple rule to follow. If it's not banned by water, then it won't increase your performance drastically. I take supplements for vitamins and minerals that I might be deficient in, so I take a B12 supplement, um, a vitamin D supplement, and a DHA supplement. Um, the best way to ensure your diet is on point and you're getting enough micronutrients uh, is just to get a blood test to see if you have any deficiencies. Um, it's also good to track your food intake for a while on chronometer just make sure you get um so that was interesting what he said if it's not banned by the wada then it doesn't increase your performance enough to warrant taking it um i don't think that's true i think that straight up i, I just don't think that's true uh i think the stuff that is listed on the wada is probably more effective at increasing your performance um but to say things like creatine and you know there, there's a ton of stuff out there a ton of stuff that's not banned that's actually really good um you know so like n not just creatine by the way but there's a lot of like really good stuff that like you wouldn't probably think about it's like very niche very non-mainstream i don't know like he's vegan so normally people who are vegan like they, they're less interested in like taking like like a hardcore like chemical supplement because at, at least him seems like very like into the whole natural thing um but there's there's a lot of good stuff out there plus you know if if you are like if you're taking steroids like do you need creatine on top of that M maybe not probably not like how much is that you know if let's say test like s testosterone gives you like 10 points creatine gives you two points you know if you're at zero, those extra two points might be really good. But if you're already at 10, like, are those extra two points worth taking, really? Maybe not. Um, but yeah, w whatever. Getting enough micronutrients. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. Um, just remember, you don't have to change your diet um, overnight. Obviously, we better to do so. But in practice, it can be quite difficult at the start. Um, like when I eliminated animal products on my diet, um, I did it over the space of three months. And the first thing I did was I just lowered my portion sizes of meat and increased my intake of high protein vegetables. Um, so for example, instead of having a single portion of chicken breast, you could have half a portion and replace the calories and protein with a serving of beans, and then gradually reduce the portion sizes of the chicken. Um, if you want to include more plant sources of protein, doing this makes it very easy. Um, also, meat replacement products really come handy. Um, but sometimes they can be quite expensive because the demand for them isn't as high. Man, what a fucking monster. Holy shit. Um, yeah, so like, I don't know. You know, okay, so he's vegan. At least he's eating natural foods, lots of legumes, some soy, beans. It's natural. I guess those are the foods you have to eat if you're a vegan. Um, is he doing, is he like on a cycle or something? Probably. But like, I, I, okay, so like, here's the whole thing with steroids. It's like, if you if you earn them through proper diet and nutrition and training hard go ahead like wh wh who are you hurting you know what i mean and, and honestly you don't even have to earn them fuck you want to do them go ahead do them right like so what you know what i mean um again the only thing that i said is that like if you're giving recommendations or 
selling programs or something, maybe you can get into like a gray area ethically if you don't disclose that. Um, but then again, I, I guess not. Like for example, let's say you sell programs and let's say you sell a beginner program, right? You can say, okay, this is a beginner program that will do this, this, and this, not make any mention. You, like you're not saying specifically like this will give you my body, right? This will give you my type of body. You don't actually say that explicitly. Then is it really ethically a gray area? Uh, I mean, you haven't said that. It might be implied. People might think that because you're like this ripped dude or whatever selling programs. People will think, oh, this is his program. If I do that, I'll look like him. Even though you don't say that explicitly, right? Whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, okay. Like, the dude's a fucking monster for sure. Like, oh my God. I would love to be able to lift that much weight, but kind of boring in that home gym, no? Like, where are the girls? <laughs> Um, okay, interesting. Yeah, dude seems like he knows his shit. Definitely knows how to train. Like, okay, just because you do steroids doesn't mean you don't know how to train, right? It, it's not like a magic thing that will automatically do the work for you. Um, they say that, like, before you take any steroids, you should train, like, minimum for a year just so you learn, like, how to actually, you know, change your body without them. And then when you finally do start taking them, you'll, um, you'll already have like the right habits in place so that you can get much better results in a shorter period of time. That's like the idea. Homie looks like he fucking knows what he's doing. Um, yeah, that's it, I guess. If you guys have any other recommendations for videos or YouTubers, let me know. Peace.